Mm -hmm. MMA recap this past weekend, UFC 225 okay. in Chicago. The co main event, mm -hmm. interim title, RDA versus Covington. Good fight. You watched that fight. Amazing fight. You were impressed. I was ready to hate. And okay. you saw me in the last video, so it's no secret how I felt about Colby Covington. Yes. Um, when you see a performance like that from a fighter, whether you like him or not, I'm not the hating type. Yes. I'm not going to okay. be sitting here saying he didn't do what he did, which was absolutely destroy RDA. So he did his thing. Shut up, Colby Covington, I guess. Listen, it was a fantastic performance. Mm. Me and you are just eating humble pie right now. Just eating it up yeah. like Mike Jackson was yeah. doing to yeah. CM Punk fans. And I think he cemented himself as that contender mm -hmm. for Woodley Strap. Mm -hmm. So before I get to his future opponent, I want to talk about his post-fight interview. So okay. I thought that was almost just as entertaining as his performance. The one with Michael Bisping? The one with Michael okay. Bisping yeah, on yeah, that yeah. post-fight show. Yeah. Five-minute segment of yeah. those two bantering. Okay. You saw that? I saw that, man. Um, Michael Bisping, I mean, I'm the type of person where... Because I, I don't know if you saw, but John Anik also came out and had his, a comment that he made about that interaction, how like Michael Bisping was super unprofessional. And he right. shouldn't have like, been engaging Kobe like that. Right. But, I think I think Michael Bisping probably was a little bit in the wrong in terms of being that aggressive against someone who just won. But it's also Kobe Covington. You can't really do any wrong because his whole thing is more attention, right? So anything that yes. kind of creates more drama is good for his brand, right? So I, I thought it was kind of a, a weird interaction. I thought it was an entertaining reaction. Right. But um, yeah, overall, I guess I guess it's all good. I, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Honestly, all it did for me was it hyped up the next fight. Mm -hmm. That's all it really does for me. I mean. Yes, he's a polarizing person. Yes, he says things off the cuff. But yes, we knew he was going to do that. Mm -hmm. And yes, we're more interested in seeing him fight T. Wood. So what he did, job well done. You know, you won inside the ring and you won outside the ring in the post fight. So now that we discussed that and how he dominated RDA, I want to discuss his next fight. Obviously, he's going to unify the title or whatever you want to call it yeah, with yeah, yeah. the real champ, T. Wood. And the funny thing is how excited T Wood now is for yes. that fight, right? Like maybe it's because he hasn't fought in a while, that could be part of it, but from the interviews I've seen, he seems like really gung ho about that fight and all that. Well, I'm gonna teach him a lesson, which actually is it's not the same song he was singing just exactly. six months ago, right? So it's crazy to see how people change their colors. I like that too, yeah. it's true. And, and T Wood wanted a money fight. Well, mm -hmm. guess what? All of a sudden, Colby Covington has stepped up and now is that money fight. Brought one to your doorstep. Whether you like him or you don't like him, mm -hmm. he's going to bring eyes to that fight and mm -hmm. he's going to get pay-per-view draw. I'm excited to see that fight. I don't know and I don't think the white belts are going to tell you where we're going to lean right now with that fight because it hasn't even been announced yet. Come on back. But regardless, we will be tuned in to watch that. Man, that's going to be a good fight. And as I'm sitting here right now, I actually don't know where that would go. So it's... it's it's an ideal matchup. Yeah, it's an ideal matchup. And that's it. I think we're done with Colby. Let's end it. Chaos. Ah.